Hello everyone, welcome to EduTap. Welcome to another Topper Talk series. So guys, today I have with me Mr. Sumit Kumar, a very young NABAD grade A officer. So thank you so much Sumit for coming. Thank you, thank you ma'am. Uh, very pleasure to meet you. We have the pleasure of having you today. And guys, it is, um, we are happy today a lot because Sumit has um, done us a favor, I would say, and came to our office and uh, we decided to take the session like in person so that is a wonderful thing on your part thank you so much ma'am and uh, as i told you a very young officer mr sumit you'll be uh, surprised to know that sumit was able to clear this examination in his very first attempt he's just 24 years old unhone 2019 mein btech kiya from du yes and uh, then after that he was clear pretty clear that he wants to appear in regulatory body examinations only उनको पता था कि मुझे और एग्जाम्स नहीं देने तो ये क्लैरिटी इतनी यंग एज में भी सुमित बहुत कम होती है yes, तो आपको थी एंड उसी का रिजल्ट है कि आज आप यहां पर हैं uh-huh. हमारे साथ नाबार्ड ग्रेड ए ऑफिसर की तरह एंड वी रियली होप आप बहुत अच्छे ऑफिसर बनेंगे एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट पोस्ट पे जल्दी बैठे होंगे तो आप बताइए कुछ अपने बारे में जैसा आपने बोला क्लैरिटी के बारे में यंग एज में तो आई वुड लाइक टू से कि देयर आर लॉट ऑफ फैक्टर बिहाइंड दिस Number one is the family support, what you get. That they have the belief in you that okay, you'll do. And second is the self, self-belief self based on your preparation, what you have been doing from last like one year or two years based on your co- college performance. So you just get that feeling, okay, I'll do and I'll definitely do. And I have been failing like for uh, last one or two attempts in other examination, for examples. So that was not my 100%. So I have to increase that uh, efforts and that... Uh, uh, preparation and I'll definitely get into that. So that thing I, is needed, I guess, for any examination to clear. Yes, wonderful that is. So uh, as Sumit has said that he uh, had the family support, he had the clarity and most of all what I could get uh, with a conversation when I had with him that he was uh, determined to work hard. You must have been a very good student in your BTEC also, so with that I can say definitely. Yes, ma'am. I was uh, like in 12th also, I was a 7th rank in district. Uh, so from there it has started. And in BTEC also, I performed well. And there was a clarity from third year only. Hmm. He, I have to go with this kind of examination because in our course, we have a specialized uh, subject to study management, finance, economics. So I had an opportunity to meet one of my uh, teacher who is currently in Indian in, in Economic Services, she guided me and she also believed in me. And from there the journey started and like slowly I uh, moved from RBI to NABAD. And rest uh, is history, I would say, uh-huh. becoming an officer at NABAD. So he appeared in um, RBI also just after he cleared the degree in yes. 2019 itself. Uh-huh. But because that was just after his college, a few months, two, three months down the yeah, line. Yeah. So he wanted to basically see that, you know, what is the level of the examination. So what the I know. And then after that, uh, in 2021, because in 2020, there was no RBI examination. No. So 2021, Ms. Sumit ne then RBI diya back to back and then appeared in NABAD also. Mm-hmm. So NABAD mein wo clear ho gaye hai aur aaj he is the officer there. So today we will discuss his strategy. How did he prepare that he could manage uh, to clear the examination in the very first attempt? Yes. And Sumit, also I would like you to discuss with us that how did you manage the preparation of different subjects? NABAR, SEBI, RBI, because uh, different examinations. Because yes. I have seen students who have seen this as a doubt. They have to say that they have to do examinations. Mm-hmm. We have to encourage them that you can do it, you try it. It's not like that. Like ARD in NABAR, so it's not a big subject that you can not do exam. Mm-hmm. Okay, so like I graduated in 19, so I had no plan for NABAD, clearly speaking, and only because of ARD. And I was a BTEC graduate, no background of agriculture and all. So RBI studied from 19 after failing pre. So I studied finance, management, economics. From there I started and then SEBI notification came. And after that I started for SEBI also. I uh, studied all six chapters what is being there. So it's not that within a month or a two, you will get to all this kind of vast syllabus and complete those. So you have to give time, you have to be patient enough to complete one by one. And also inter, uh, this kind of examination have some interconnection also overlapping of syllabus. So you need to utilize those kind of things. And then completely after that NABAD uh, ARD is there. So I was 
confident in those those two years about uh, economics about finance about current affairs about government scheme from the rbi so i just needed to put some extra effort for art and frankly speaking ki uh, nabad uh, edutap course for art has helped me a lot i totally relied on edutap art uh, courses which have been provided so you have to go step by step also but uh, like uh, within a year you will definitely be comfortable enough in rbi sab and nabad and you will be comfortable to give all three examination it's not like that ki within one month you will tell ki okay i have to do rbi also sab also nabad also it will not work mm. and for any uh, freshers or any uh, graduate like me who is btech no agriculture background i would recommend okay uh, you should take any of the courses because syllabus is vast and most important thing is what not to study is more important than what to study in this kind of examination so you have to take so very genuine advice i think you have given yes. that uh, uh, consistency is the key jo mujhe samajh mein aaya hai na that you cannot uh, he is being very wise in telling you ki aisa nahi hai in a month you will be able to prepare all three exams yes. yeah even for that matter ek exam yes ma'am you have to give time and consistently prepare karte raho mm-hmm. and of course in an year if you study wisely acche se plan bana ke padhte ho acha koi aapke paas material hai kuch bhi ho sakta hai wo to you can clear the examination or prepare bhi kar sakte ho to so, sumit what was your motivation matlab kyunki jab aap padh rahe hote ho for such competitive examinations kabhi kabhi to aata hai man mein ki hoga ya nahi ya kitna time lagega to kya tha wo aapko jo motivate karta raha uh many exam ke dauran mein i always never thought of any of my competitor i guess uh, i only thought ki okay there is, uh, i am studying i'll clear this cut off although you don't need to think about cut off beforehand it is decided on the examination day only but uh, uh, cut off should be clear in your mind you have to study strategize your plan and don't overthink and don't over plan this is one have a broader plan at once mm-hmm. and then slowly slowly have uh, execute those plan and which are not in uh, in your hand like what will be the vacancies what will be the, when the notification will come when what will the question be asked this kind of thing you just avoid and only the thing is self belief okay i can do that my plan is good my strategy is good and whatever things are required to clear the examination i am doing that you have to just respect all these three organization then they they will definitely respect you for like given the results mm-hmm. so that is the more important i respected at this nawad examination at all three stages uh, so you have to be very uh, consistent and very serious and disciplined for this kind of examination wonderful that is so ye bhi bahut acha advice for the students out there that if you are aspiring for something you have to first of all respect that and then respect your preparation also yeah. aisa nahi hai one day you are let's say you feel like you study for 8 hours 6 hours and then for ne- next two days you don't feel like studying yeah. so that should not be the case yeah, you know yeah. so uh, sumit how are like your family members are they happy are your friends very very, very much happy ma'am uh, the result came i planned a surprise also i was alone actually when the result came so i planned a surprise for my brother mm-hmm. he only did everything for me like after 12th so he was only my whatever you say backbone and all for the preparation mm-hmm. so they were very very happy my whole family my whole father mother society of my hometown darbhanga bihar uh, so everyone is really, really feeling uh, very great for me like indeed indeed because i will also tell you guys that sumit is going to join very soon the training he has got the joining date so he will be joining in lucknow for the two week training and then afterwards aapka uh, probation period will start right yeah, yeah. so uh, the, the, the opportunities are now i would say the limit to koi hai hi nahi there is no limit opportunities are sky high mm. uh, being a part of the wonderful organization where you get scope for personal growth professional growth dono hai so uh, sumit uh, let us also discuss about your strategy hai na to aap thoda sa bataiye how did you like uh, what was the first thing you did when you decided that now you are going to appear for nabad uh, i remember ki after notification only i started i frankly say the nabad uh, sebi and rbi preparation i used 40 to 50% of planning strategy and output from that examination in nabad so when i started nabad uh, i started with the current affairs government schemes and 
ARD is static, what is most, most important mm -hmm. required in the pre also and mains also. So you have to divide your time, day time into three slots or four slots. So I divided like morning hour, two, three hour, I'll see the videos of ARD and uh, study the summary sheets. Then in the after having uh, like after 11 o'clock, I have to read government schemes, current affairs. Then in the evening, some kind of uh, uh, revision. And uh, in the later stage, uh, maths, reasoning, uh, some one, two kind of a mock test. I was good in maths and also that, uh, and also the pattern of Navar changed. So I took that very positively. Okay, pattern changed. I have to take advantage of it because most of the students will like very much. Uh, uh, will be thinking or on mm. the other hand side, so I have to take advantage of that. That was good sight for me. And I would only say for the pre-examination, it is a smart strategy that will let you go through the pre-examination. You have to be uh, very, very, very much like confident on your strategy, how to read ART, how to read ESI, how to read government schemes. And EduTap, I would say for the government scheme, monthly uh, uh, government scheme is coming. So whatever the government scheme is in news and you just study that 30 to 40 pages uh, is there. It's sufficient enough for like five to six months if you do for that. Current affair is also very much good for uh, EduTab and uh, uh, all this kind of a thing. And also on the exam date, I would say ki your how you approach the examination is most important. I mm -hmm. targeted like ki I have a good preparation and i know like a decent amount of a uh, thing from the uh, nabat uh, art esi so i attempted around 95 96 question and took a margin of 35 wrongs mm -hmm. okay if i uh, get 35 wrongs also so i'll end up to 51 52 mm -hmm. so because i uh, like uh, seen the uh, videos of last year ki average marks in art is only uh, 10 12 out mm -hmm. of 40 15 16 in esi and 13 mm -hmm. 14 in ga so if you add those will get 45 47 50 so in no case it will be more than 55 cut off of uh, pre mm. so you have to plan accordingly you don't need to score 100 percent that mm -hmm. is more important so you don't uh, my one of the important suggestion is either you complete the syllabus or you clear the examination mm -hmm. that is more important because people go for like completing the syllabus three chapters are left out to complete this leave those three chapters revise Mm. That will help you much because uh, ultimately uh, results matter, nothing mm. else. So very, very important points that you have made. First of all, planning should be there yes. and planning should be based on knowledge actually. Okay. Because you had the knowledge cutoffs you saw, what have mm. been the cutoff. I'm sure you would have seen the previous year questions yes. also. Yes. So based on that, you should see. You cannot just, you know, even if you... Um, Sumit was our student, he had our course, but he did not just blindly open the course and start studying. Mm -hmm. You have to have knowledge that, mm -hmm. you know, what am I targeting? Uh, faculty members are there to guide you, but when you put in the effort that let me see what are the cutoffs, let me see what is the previous year mm -hmm. question. So, effort zada aega, obviously, you'll, you'll put in more effort. Mm -hmm. That what that is what you should do. So, you have to planning ki and as you mm -hmm. said, even in paper, you had this thing in mind that I'll do more than that. Uh, because like, uh, in this kind of examination, uh, if you take 15, 16 uh, negative or wrong questions, can be easily done. Everyone mm -hmm. can do that. So mm -hmm. if you attempt less only, there are chances that you will slip down. Mm -hmm. And one other thing I would like to mention, like I said, key, what not to study is more important than what to study. Mm -hmm. So filtering out of the material is very much important in this kind of examination. So you will get those... Uh, art you you can say that art of filtering out from mock test from previous year questions and whatever uh, sort QGs are being conducted how the questions are being asked and what pattern it is being asked and how what is the direction what not to study you will get from easily from there mm -hmm. by use that kind of uh, uh, strategy, strategy to basically study to realize that this is what i need to study this is what i can leave because mm -hmm. revision is very important because if you do not revise See, in such an examination when options are so near, you have yeah. to remember the data, the figures. Mm -hmm. So, it will be difficult for you if you don't revise anything. And how many revisions did you do? Did you plan any number of revisions? Uh, I revised till I was confident. Like, mm -hmm. two, three revisions is sufficient, I guess, for free. Mm -hmm. And later on for the mains, I, I used different strategies. Right. So, uh, when talking about phase one, uh, see, ESI, ARD, to anyhow, we are going to discuss because the same subjects are there in phase two. But what to, uh, do you suggest for GA? Because GA is of 20 marks, although, mm -hmm. but in, an important component, mm -hmm. merit section now. So, yes, uh, what should be the strategy for students, how they should approach it? Uh, my simple strategy was that I studied 
Adda Hindu review, uh, GA, which is very short, like 30 40 pages of last two to three months only. I'd say two months is also sufficient for that. Mm -hmm. And you uh, like add up or complement those with the uh, live session that I do tap or any other institute is coming up with that mm -hmm. last three months, four months. So you just have a detail of uh, uh, Hindu review of last three months maximum. Mm -hmm. And then you complement those with uh, the live sessions which is been con conducted by different coaching institutes that will be sufficient. Mm -hmm. And a scoring 13, 14, 12 is more than enough for the I don't think more than that is required. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you also take uh, mock tests? Yeah, actually uh, All India mock test was conducted by EduTap. I took all those three. And uh, more importantly, EduTap has a... Uh, uh, daily uh, kind of uh, questions, 20 questions or from ESI, ARD mm. and that has also helped me a lot. For, uh, uh, these questions when, uh, before phase one, before. okay, we used to, pro those questions are the YouTube conducted questions. YouTube also and uh, after phase one, I guess you started 9 p.m. Ah, right, uh, yes, so for the students who cleared. Uh, the I, for the G only, I used uh, that marathon kind of a uh, series. Mm. Then. Mm whatever uh, from last five six months you uh, discussed and mm. two months in the review That's so if you sincerely cover those sessions achhe se that are being mm. provided uh, refer to one source any source yes. which is reliable two months three months mm. you can clear it is because, not that uh, clear. it is a 20 marks ga section mm. so studying that 300 350 pages of document mm. so uh, like the output is not so much good from mm. that and what about quant reasoning these subjects I like uh, have a quant and reasoning like uh, I'm a B.Tech student so I'm good in that. So I just targeted okay like uh, 40 marks is there so I will get 18 or 20 marks out of 40. Mm. And selection of question is very important in quant and reasoning. Never go one by one like one, two, three, four. Mm. You just have a topic in your mind ki, okay mm. I'll first do quadratic number series or TI. Uh, which are easy question and in reasoning also certain topics are there which you can easily uh, choose and uh, do mm. so you have to like pick up the questions from there and uh, have a uh, target is for okay 1920 i'll have to do i'll clear and so work. this is i think a common thing amongst all the selected candidates guys you must take that you should not just open the book or you should not just start solving everything out of quant. Yeah. You should know that this is my strength basically. Okay. These questions I'm good in okay. or this topic I'm not good at. So that same thing you choose in now. But and I think so with, with the change of pattern now, yeah. quant reasoning are now not that burdensome. Yeah, yeah. So you can just get a minimum marks, a decent marks and that will be okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, for like uh, quant reasoning, English uh, mock test shall be sufficient. Yeah, if someone has an English uh, background, because English in such kind of organization I have seen RBI in about, it is very easy and very common. If you mm. don't give mock test also, that uh, it will be good. Mm. I recently give SEBI, I got 25 out of 25 in English. Mm. So, matlab, uh, you, either you can give mock test and practice, but uh, mm. studying English from like basic grammar and all, it will take time and mm. so that is not advisable. I, if you are not confident enough, give mock test. That is sufficient that enough. That will be better. And uh, one thing which is not related to the subjects is, did you used to read newspapers also? Uh, I started reading newspaper after uh, means, frankly mm -hmm. speaking. Otherwise, uh, it was advised by EduTap also, some other coaching institute mm -hmm. also, that we are combining or collecting the information for you in the form of magazines or current mm -hmm. affairs. You use that. So that is sufficient, I guess. Newspaper is more like opinion uh, kind of a building thing, mm, not right. for the information. So it is not mandatory basically because uh, students, we get this query a lot that uh, shall I read the newspaper daily, which newspaper to read. So it's not mandatory. Sumit, as himself said, but he was preparing other things well. Uh -huh. So if you are good in your subjects, preparing well, interview, uh, when your interview call comes, you can start reading uh, I, uh, that the most also. important thing is that also okay, I have taken a step by step process I never thought of mains in pre mm. and you can think of but I was confident in my descriptive part if I have a good writing skill I have a good speed average speed of 20 25 will uh, easily go only to uh, have a uh, information and content then mm. that I will uh, plan after pre not here first mm. clear pre then mains then mm. after interview that is again a very, I would say, uh, insightful advice that although the preparation is going to be useful, obviously, of ESI and ARD, but be dedicated towards first clearing phase one. Mm. 
step by step approach yes. then focus only on phase 2 because while it should not be the case that you have to go for phase 2 and you are thinking interview mein kya karenge uh-huh. even sumit i get calls uh, like there are few students who have started let's say so i always tell them that do not worry about your interview at this stage when you have just started the preparation the same mistake i also did in rbi 819 hmm. i used to think a lot about mains hmm. interview it happens with every student but hmm. with time you have to Uh, change yourself. Hmm. Either you realize by yourself, or you hear from others. Right. But you have to go through the same process. So you you should think you should be forward looking, but do not be stuck or daydreaming about your interview or phase two when you are preparing. Like one phase at a time. Yes. Okay. So coming back to your subjects, uh, we have discussed about your quant reasoning, English, and merit GA. But there is one subject. which is not given due weightage actually i think that is computer uh, right so uh, computer uh, how did you prepare or is it like uh, does it need a lot of effort uh before nabar 2021 i guess it no, doesn't need a lot of effort because questions are very easy either you see a video of 35 40 minutes on youtube and same kind of questions were being asked hmm. but this time they choose to ask something different something hard uh but since i was from it background so that knowledge helped me and the same strategy i uh, have done all the 20 questions of computer and i must have landed around 7 8 mm-hmm. so you have to take risk uh, in such situation mm-hmm. so if you don't have to like leave all those thing okay it is hard i'll not do it is hard for everyone so there like if you go there is a mathematics around attempting all the question how you land mm-hmm. but this can be Uh, done only with uh, proper care otherwise you will fail miserably this mm-hmm. needs your knowledge preparation backup then only mm-hmm. that your uh, like having positive marks having correct question is uh, like probability of getting correct is more than probability of getting wrong then mm-hmm. only you can apply those otherwise right. it will not help you so wonderful points that you have said actually that you you need you need to take the flukes also let let me try mm-hmm. but it cannot be just hawa mein ki kuch bhi mark kar do probability should be there that okay when you read when you study when you prepare when you know the examination tab ja ke you reach that level right mm-hmm. ki ha now i can take the risks so yes this time computer was thoda sa difficult hai na mm-hmm. as compared to previous years but again because it was a non merit section yes. so i think 7 uh, 8 marks also were good if you score uh-huh. those <laughs> because actually uh, earlier it used to be quite easy uh-huh. to any any source would you suggest or uh, like from where to cover computer from i i'd say uh, like live sessions only of uh, mm-hmm. any coaching institute or whatever youtube video is there mm-hmm. you don't need to study computer in detail because again over that uh, input output efficiency will not be there in right. that because you can refer to live sessions or youtube videos are there yeah. that will be enough okay fine so talking about decision making also newly added subject it was 10 marks ka tha lekin it gave a lot of headache to students what to cover how to cover because kuch there were no previous year questions also to aapne kya kiya maine to pehle yahi kiya ki naya hai to sabke liye naya hai aur main kuch zyada sochne wala nahi hu iske bare mein aur maine bilkul bhi nahi socha iske bare mein aur maine क्वेश्चन वेश्चन तो बिल्कुल भी नहीं बनाया इस पर जो मॉक टेस्ट था एक दो दिया था मैंने वो भी लाइक ऑल कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट दे हैव एक्सपेक्टेड समथिंग एल्स एंड द क्वेश्चन वेयर ऑन द अदर लाइंस सो इट वाज ऑन द मैनेजमेंट साइड आई गेस सो आई वाज लकी इनफ बिकॉज आई स्टडीड मैनेजमेंट इन आर बी आई एन आर बी सो इट वॉज ईजी फॉर मी आई सेम आई हैव आई कूड ईजली अटेम्प्ट सेवन एट क्वेश्चन ईजली so management if you study in sebi nabar that will be easy that will be easy and one thing that i would like to highlight about you mujhe bahut achhi lagi that uh, one thing that you kept pure throughout me ki main to darne wala nahi hu uh, because I, i have been doing those kind of thing in rbi and sebi hmm. so i have learned from that in sebi also uh, i remember phase 1 mein they have asked something out of box right in phase 2 i used to think a lot wo kya puchhenge नहीं पूछेंगे सो आई वॉज नॉट फोकस्ड ऑन माई सिलेबस इंस्टीड ऑफ दैट फोकसिंग ऑन एक्स्ट्रा थिंग ओके आई हैव टू रीड दिस इनकम टैक्स एक्ट ऑल्सो दिस ऑल्सो सो दैट विल नॉट हेल्प सो स्ट्रैटेजी इज सिंपल फोकस ऑन द सिलेबस लेट दे मास्क एनी थिंग बिकॉज एवरी स्टूडेंट इज प्रिपेयरिंग द सिलेबस ओनली 
एंड लर्न फ्रॉम योर मिस्टेक्स एक्चुअली एज आई थिंक यू हैव इम्प्लीमेंटेड इट वेरी वेल कि एक बार गलती किया दोबारा नहीं करना इफ बिकॉज इन सेबी आई वॉज डूइंग इट दिस टाइम आई विल नॉट डू दिस इज गाइज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एबिलिटी यू नीड टू डेवलप वेन यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सच एग्जामिनेशन बिकॉज इफ यू कीप ऑन डूइंग द सेम मिस्टेक यू विल गेट द सेम रिजल्ट अगेन एंड अगेन सो मिथ न्यू दैट ओके दिस डिड नॉट वर्क फॉर मी क्विकली चेंज इज स्ट्रैटेजी दट इन नेक्स्ट एग्जाम आई विल नॉट डू द सेम मिस्टेक तो चूज फॉर योर सेल्फ इफ इट इज नॉट वर्किंग especially for those who have attempted two three exams yeah. two three times the same exam also so try to change your strategy might it might help you theek okay. hai so uh, i think we have discussed about phase 1 yeah. but uh, but about esi and ard uh, so phase 1 and phase 2 common subjects yes, right ma'am. common syllabus so yeah. preparation when you did here yeah. of esi let's talk about esi first so the same preparation for phase 2 or you made any change apart from descriptive writing Uh, no uh, in phase 1 i only targeted uh, preparing for esi and rd uh, from objective perspective no descriptive perspective so i only had to add a few months of current affair few months of government scheme that's it mm-hmm. i don't think there is a kind of any label change in phase 1 and phase 2 esi and rd you need to follow the same uh, material same strategy same planning 4 uh, 5 months current affair government schemes of Uh, in news from 6 7 months that is sufficient enough and i have uh, like f- felt like people are saying government scheme they have asked of old government schemes but uh, they are actually news that's why they're being asked and i would have uh, monthly uh, scheme tab that is of much use i would say for filtering out the government scheme which are in current news and and, and Uh, one aspect is that also filtering out second aspect is revision mm. again and again the same government scheme will repeat in the next month so you get the revision also easily so mm. that is important for the esi government schemes current affair is Im- enough and some static knowledge if you are preparing for rbi sebi i don't think you need extra thing to do some important chapters like balance of payment or monetary policy uh, fiscal policy Uh, growth and development uh, some few important chapters are required inflation otherwise uh, uh, not much static question is being asked in esi and ard also more scheme based was asked this time mm. and nabard is only for like majorly focus on schemes only so schemes mm-hmm. current mm-hmm. affairs and static ard static ard ke liye aapko if you are not from agriculture background so you need to take some uh, coaching material uh, sources mm. so three things i think uh, these are the pillars of your examination actually mm-hmm. one is your government schemes we all know that government schemes are uh, the most important pillar of nabard grade examination mm-hmm. second is your current affairs as mm-hmm. you said third is ard static mm-hmm. because in esi static the topics that have been mentioned by somit you can note uh, the, the topics down because if you have a basic understanding also yes. let's say if you haven't prepared for rbi or cbi if you read these topics yes. uh, these chapters you will have a fair understanding because you are reading current affairs yes. those also provide you good knowledge yes. so uh, current affairs and schemes yes. both the uh, things you covered for 6 months or more or less 6 months 6 months yes. is enough yes. for both and also hmm. if you cover for 6 months not that you are only covering for 6 months Hmm. reading those 6 months will give you very very knowledge to the art of like uh, uh, eliminating the answer the art of guessing from those 6 months current affair and uh, esi hmm. there was uh, like in main side say 7 8 question nobody knew hmm. so in that case you have to use that elimination only that uh, uh, kind of a guessing work only but a smart guessing work that is all totally based on your preparation from like what we have studied hmm. not blank guessing so that okay. is important so insightful study aisa nahi hai that bas rat liya hai maine if you that is a very good point that if you read for 6 months properly you are covering more than that mm-hmm. because a lot of things are repeated or interlinked to yeah, the yeah, previous yeah. news so that will be fine and uh, schemes i want to ask about schemes because scheme stack document we uh, provided with the same uh, like uh, the analogy was that uh, covering different schemes न्यू हो ओल्ड हो वो करनी है उससे बेटर है लेट्स प्रोवाइड अ डॉक्यूमेंट विच कवर्स बोथ द थिंग्स तो इफ इफ वन कवर्स लेट्स से कोई स्टूडेंट हैं जो कवर करते हैं छह महीने का या सेवन मंथ्स का स्कीम्स था शेल इट बी अनफ फॉर देम या नहीं कुछ और एडिशनल करना चाहिए 
मेरे हिसाब से दैट इज एनफ फॉर स्कीम टैप इज एनफ बिकॉज इन मेंस आल्सो सिंस द डिस्क्रिप्टिव हैज बीन एडेड तो इन मेंस ऑब्जेक्टिव पार्ट ऑफ मेंस उसमें भी ऐसा कुछ नहीं कि स्कीम से आपको कुछ ज्यादा ही अंदर से पूछते क्योंकि इन स्कीम टैप 70 टू 80% परसेंट कॉन्टेंट इज बींग प्रोवाइडेड दैट इज सफिशियंट इनफ आई गेस आई सेड ना कि आदर यू कम्प्लीट द सिलेबस और क्लियर द एग्जामिनेशन सेंस ऑफ कम्पलीशन फ्रॉम दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग छोटा छोटा करके कम करके दैट इज वेरी मच इम्पोर्टेंट उससे बहुत होता है आप एक ही चीज को एकदम डिटेल में पढ़े जा रहे हैं तो उससे टाइम भी लग रहा है और इधर से भी आप नंबर ला सकते हो उधर से भी सेम ही नंबर लगेगा So, so man, did you used to make notes also while uh, studying all these things? Not for objective purpose. No, not at all. You just uh, read, revised uh, 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 again and again. Yeah. Okay. So again, uh, students have always the confusion that shall I make notes or not? So it depends on you actually. Mm-hmm. Some people like to make notes. So man, did not make notes for mm-hmm. phase one part, objective part. Objective part. Yeah. Even for phase two, objective part. Mm-hmm. So uh, that was about government schemes. Mm-hmm. and your current affairs also hmm. but we want to know about ard static also hmm. ke sabse pehle to because you also did not have the background no. to why you dar lagta tha ki kare ya nahi kare uh, that's why uh, i haven't given nabard uh, 2020 i guess because nabard was not in my plan only due to ard static hmm. so lekin aisa kuch nahi hai ki aap if you start you will get to know everything there is nothing in the world that you cannot the study that you cannot know hmm. if you can study physics chemistry mathematics you can study understand art also you can study understand finance management also hmm. so finance management bhi pehle kabhi nahi padha tha lekin samajh mein aaya to art bhi aa sakta hai hmm. bas wo cheez hai so bas ye hai ki right source milna chahiye right material milna chahiye aur filtering out aana chahiye hmm. तो आपने फिर अपार्ट फ्रॉम द कोर्स जैसे कोर्स में से आप बता रहे थे एक के समरी शीट्स वगैरह पढ़ा उसके अलावा भी यू फेल द नीड टू ऐड समथिंग एल्स इन द प्रिपरेशन या फिर नहीं उतना इज इनफ कोर्स इज इनफ फॉर एआरटी आई वुड से आई वुड से एवरीथिंग लाइक गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स के लिए भी करंट अफेयर्स के लिए भी एआरटी के लिए भी कोर्स इज इनफ यू आर इफ यू आर टेकिंग कोर्स ऑफ एडोटैप और एनी अदर इंस्टीट्यूट दैट इज दे आर डूइंग एवरीथिंग फॉर यू बट यू नीड to do extra only in case, uh, in things of like youtube sessions you are doing mm-hmm. mock test you are doing that is important because the real examination based questions you get a feel from that youtube session only mock test only mm-hmm. application part you get from there right okay. to uh, revision reading revision filtering keywords ho rahe hain of this interview actually <laughs> and then obviously uh, the youtube sessions application part the practice part as well right okay so uh, wo, do you think that there are few uh, selective topics in ard ya chapters in ard which are more important as compared to others i have done that because uh, when time is less or when you have i said ki uh, clear the examination there are certain few important chapter from where the questions will definitely be asked like in animal husbandry horticulture agronomy chapter first only of ard and then uh, one cloud kind of a chapter was there uh, metrology metrology agrometrology uh, that 3 4 5 chapters is important you can leave the last chapters of rural development and all they are not such important for objectives but it is important for descriptive hmm. so you need to uh, get uh, uh, filter out or hear from uh, i to tap only or other cons- opposing issue they come regularly hmm. with this kind of a analysis and what to study first what to study next hmm. uh, all kind of a preparation planning that okay. is sufficient so uh, that is it i think about phase 1 and uh, objective part i would say rather uh-huh. because whatever you prepared for phase 1 esi ard the 50 marks paper uh-huh. of phase 2 is objective and the same thing will be catered yeah, right i would say ki 80 marks you have to have in phase 1 only mm. it is 50 marks in phase 2 actually phase 1 is only uh, more than phase 2 mm. uh, so preparation is same strategy is same just you have to add up right. like uh, phase 1 ke baad do teen ek der mahine ka phase 2 hota gaya to usme aap ek do mahine aur add kar sakte hain so fir when you were done with phase 1 phase 2 ka preparation you started so a uh, descriptive writing jo ek paper new uh, paper was brought in uh, 50 marks ka to uske liye practice you started just right after phase 1 ya fir you waited for few days ki chalo i'll see kya hota hai and then i'll start no, uh, i was confident about my result okay i'll get through it uh, but uh, i took like one two day break and then i started immediately 
I again said you have to divide your slots, day slot. Like I divided my day slot on the same basis. Uh, like I have to read objective part, government schemes, current affairs, revisions, and then descriptive. Mm -hmm. So in descriptive, I used to I have limited source. Like I only followed model and question and answer which is being provided by the EduTab. I have uh, like 17, 17 chapter each of ART and ESI. I have studied read at the first hand. Then in the second hand, I made the notes out of it in descriptive part because you have to write down, you have to remember spot notes, not uh, like everything you have to write. Data, uh, facts, some arguments, some important lines. This mm -hmm. kind of thing you need to write. And uh, how you are going to use that sequencing is also important. So mm -hmm. I jotted down all the chapters and after writing, I would say definitely in one and a half hour you can revise 34 chapters. Mm -hmm. That is not big deal. So I revised uh, like seven, eight times till the examination. Mm -hmm. And the most important thing is cross breeding question I have said uh, like it is while discussing. Mm -hmm. I was discussing I wrote 590 words in that cross breeding section. It was only due to by making of the notes. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. I used uh, uh, data, facts, information from animal husbandry, fisheries, horticulture. And use that in crossbreeding because they have asked something like how can crossbreeding help Indian economy or mm -hmm. have a positive impact? How can this be utilized? So I use, use the number, this kind of uh, like the fellow we have, we have this kind of a number. Mm -hmm. We have fisheries. We have how much we rank. What are the potentials we have? And uh, what I did ki baking notes useful as a biote ki after the English paper. Uh, we got a break up for 20 to 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. So I revised that in 15 minutes, all those 34 chapters. So time up will be one hour se shuru hoga, 40 minutes, half an hour, 20 minutes. So it will be one hour. Then all the data will come in your mind. And you can easily use that in examination. So I did that. It is all about revision basically. Kitna mm -hmm. bar you will read again and again. So uh, Sumit, so were those chapters, 17 chapters of ESI, 17 of ARD, you felt that you read, you made notes. They were enough for you? Uh, I'd say you don't know uh, what kind of question is being asked. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you read like chapter 1 and chapter 2, model question answer when you go for chapter 3 you will easily find out or usually feel that i can use that, those concept or those data or those information in this question only mm. so connecting the dots i'd say or having the using the information from other questions to this question this kind of art you need mm. and that will give you the diversity also in answers the only uh, good thing is if you get good marks in any answer that is only because of diversity in your answer so it. diversity, of course, uh, like 360 degree approach towards yeah. an answer, adding the report, adding some scheme mm -hmm. in that or any other data that you have. Mm -hmm. So for that you made those notes, mm -hmm. as you said, from those, uh, uh, got all those from the model mm -hmm. question answers, then made notes and then revised, it will be enough. Enough, enough. Because see, again, you need to have content as you were telling me, mm -hmm. the, the ingredients are there, you have to use those ingredients and present something uh -huh. we use karna uh, ingredients are same from those same ingredients only you have uh, different kinds of like butter chicken changeji mm. so you can have those that only right. same thing I use. So, fodder hai, the data basically mm. the things that you are collecting is kind of ingredients and uh, you have to use uh -huh. those to write an answer uh -huh. so answer uh, writing jo hai, how did you use to do the answer writing like on a daily mm. basis till your phase 2, yeah, but, uh, you made a plan or schedule that after every week, after every two days, I'll, I'll uh, do that. Edutap has come with a BJ batch, I guess, so uh, I used to write those answers every Sunday. So mm -hmm. I used to write those answers. Mm -hmm. And one thing is uh, clear that for answer writing, you need speed, typing speed, you need uh, writing skills, and you need content. Mm -hmm. So I was having writing skills from my college day only. I was having speed of like uh, 30 words per minute or 25 would also go so only important thing was having a content and information i focused more on gathering content mm. and i have written uh, not that much daily basis before five or one week like i have written three four answers mm. in a set like uh, four four answers mm. so that is sufficient enough so according to different different person it will vary that who is not confident enough in his writing skills so they need to practice every day otherwise yes. uh, content gathering and information is sufficient so you have to see your level that if you are not good in writing or uh, typing if your speed is not good you have to increase it uh -huh. 
if you feel that you're not uh, making uh, good in making a good structure of the answer you work on it uh, similarly if you have content let's say then uh, find out that what thing you are not good at and focus on that so that is a good thing that you you were confident that mm-hmm. i know how to write an answer i'm good in typing let me just focus on content collection so mm-hmm. that i can use it for mm-hmm. later right okay so i think the same uh, goes for esi descriptive also the yes, same thing right yeah. uh-huh. even i would say ki i used many thing of esi in rd and many thing of rd in esi mm-hmm. so you have to just uh, uh, know the art of that using things from one thing to another thing mm-hmm. and that will only come by reading analyzing and if you are not good at writing so you should write how to use that right this is wonderful that if you know once that how to use things to write an answer mm-hmm. to create an answer then you will be able to use as any other there is no what a tight compartment ki ye ea ad ard hai ye esi hai i cannot use the content kar sakte ho of course because now anyhow wo questions like for example msp question i remember mm-hmm. few said who msp was from ard you said it was from esi mm-hmm. so there are topics you cannot differentiate kaun sa question hai theek mm-hmm. hai so i think that is it about a practice right a practice of answer writing and descriptive part uh iske alawa please give us few tips to our students for english descriptive writing also uh, for english descriptive you need to uh, like have a first of all clear understanding of how to write an essay how to write an essay and how to approach uh, reading comprehension or letter writing hmm. so you need to know structure then you need to have a you can see the videos on the youtube also and live sessions also how to write and all and grammatical mistakes spelling mistakes you need to take care of it and again typing speed of 20 to 25 words per minute is enough because in english uh, you have sufficient type of one and a half hour in about mm. so structure matters and content matters so for uh, like essay also if you are studying esi and ard i think that is sufficient for essay also mm-hmm. uh, because you can easily write and you can uh, refer some of the uh, like uh, not uh, like non current of your topics like sports or uh, a management kind of a topic from the fodder material of different coaching institute or freely available on the youtube also mm-hmm. so for essay part only you need to gather the fodder material otherwise for the pressy writing you should uh, like follow the structure you should understand what pressy writing is and then practice those pressy writing and rc hmm. that is important so uh, for english descriptive did you take mock test or mock papers did you solve uh, that uh, within a time limit in 90 minutes let me try to solve a paper i used i have done in sebi i guess uh, this kind of thing after sebi uh, because it was uh, sebi in one hour only you have to do three questions hmm. so if you are uh, have done three questions in one hour you could easily do in one and a half hour in about 90 so, minutes are there uh, right uh, 90 minutes so follow the structure uh-huh. basically what is to be there uh, for pressy and letter uh-huh. right and for sc of course i was about to ask but you answered yourself that esi ard whatever content you are reading or uh, you have the notes it will be utilized uh-huh. and one more thing ki for the timing if you like uh, always say ki 90 minutes mein main kar pata hu ki nahi and for same part for the descriptive also ard and essay ki four question in one and a half hour two thousand words uh, will i uh, able to do or not hmm. so when you do or write in home or when you are sitting in the table you usually research those materials hmm. you edit delete so that takes time you don't know that you are taking time but you are taking time hmm. but in the examination you have nothing you are just straight forward typing things hmm. so it will happen you don't worry about that type like time management matlab in english though you don't have to worry in asi rd also you will easily manage so if you have a decent practice decent mm-hmm. typing speed you will be able to manage okay so uh, i think we have discussed good points mm-hmm. about phase 1 phase 2 you have given some wonderful things i think the keywords i was using is mm-hmm. filter read revise right and uh, uh <laughs> yes yeah, connect, connect <laughs> right, the points right. so yeah connecting the things uh, because intermixing basically what can you use there uh-huh. or okay so moving on to your interview part so how was your interview first of all we want to know that i would say my uh, 17 persons were there my interview day hmm. and mine was third last so i guess i was the only person uh, who came smiling out of the interview hall hmm. it was very good it was all planned Hmm. and i like 
like drived the interview for few parts of my interview and it went on the expected line hmm. because i have chosen to speak only those thing uh, which is required hmm. so and the, another important thing is key for the interview if you go inside the hall you need to be confident enough hmm. and that confidence will only come by preparation hmm. people say they test your personality they test yours uh, they have already tested your knowledge okay hmm. they have tested your knowledge but there should be like if they if they are testing your personality there should be some kind of a medium for it mm. so that question and answer you know about the organization or not that is the way of testing your personality your curiosity and they would ask you like about nabat certain uh, interior thing if you are not answering those kind of things it means you are not curious enough mm. for finding out those kind of a thing about nabat in which organization you are coming mm. so it it is a kind of a personality test only but in a question answer method your speaking skill your personality your confidence so confidence will come only after a good preparation right of course you have to be confident in interview you mm. have to be confident so that they can gauge that this person is confident but you cannot be confident if you have not prepared anything you just go like that only mm. so what were the type of questions were they based on like your profile your background basically or were they related to the nabad aspect more Uh, it was a mix sort of thing uh, they started with my like why nabad after it mm. matlab we have it specialized field also why not there why in general stream mm. so i defended that answer very well and he was happy we have a discussion of around 3 to 4 minutes mm. and the second member the ma'am was there and she was known for not giving expression at all mm. so she i saw when i was answering to the sir she gave expression mm. aise karke like uh, mm. so uh, it gave my confidence then sir asked me and then uh, it uh, ma'am asked me about my district hometown mm. he what nabat is doing there tell me about your district Mm-hmm. so there only i told about the district nabad and used and just thrown some uh, kind of a keywords there like mm-hmm. farmer clubs fpo and they asked what is farmer clubs and fpo difference mm-hmm. or they connected and while i was answering fpo i used fpo as a registered society fpo as a company then the chairman stepped in the he asked me which one is better mm-hmm. so i was there also i used the key points like i say i told them uh, three four points in fpc and fpo Mm. but lastly i mentioned highlighting that getting uh, funds in fpc is more uh, easy just you need to sit there in agm pass from agm and yahan aapko pura registered of operative society se pass karana hota hai so that kind of a thing you need to understand what are the keywords and what they are expecting from you mm. then third member came in they are, he asked me about cooperative banks and rrb structures why rrb is dis- uh, decreasing is ml commission good Uh, if banks are now decreasing, it is good for the economy or not? Banking Regulation Amendment Act, these kind of things were asked. And lastly, they asked from the every student suggestions what you kind of a want to give. So mm-hmm. I gave five six suggestions that was purely based on my like IT background and how it is being used in Nabar. So they need to know, okay, this kind of a person is uh, utilizing his skill in Nabar. You need mm-hmm. to show that. If you have studied IT, you need to so that okay and have a decent knowledge of IT, and I can use that in a part. So This is a good point. I think that uh, the last point, especially that mm-hmm. if you are from IT background, mm-hmm. first of all you defend it that why am I appearing in mm-hmm. generous, but still you have the background and then telling them, giving them suggestions related to your background. Mm-hmm. So the, you can do that. That you know, uh, anyhow, questions are going to be there from mm-hmm. your background, from the technical aspect. so you have to maintain a balance amongst all those uh, things and also like i'd say like whatever i prepared only 3% questions were asked in interview mm. but less 90% 97% of uh, whatever i studied for interview has given me the confidence to enter the room okay ask me anything i'll answer that very is important good. very good very good that is obviously because you cannot say that everything will be asked if mm. you have confidence then you will be able to answer questions right mm-hmm. uh with confidence actually that okay this person has more to tell mm-hmm. that will uh, the message will go like that so how did you prepare so with what all as we you were talking about pillars that mm-hmm. the pillars of preparation so what all the, the, the things you prepared uh i started with first uh, bio data form uh, i feel like i remember i feel that bio data form in 10 or 12 days what all i need to write down what not to write down what impression will i have and then out of that 
I prepared questions, 150, 200 questions out of that. And that question is uh, like you can easily prepare those and you can easily answer those. You need to just defend yourself. Okay, what, why I'm doing this, why I'm writing this. And second thing was NABAD website. And that is more important because you don't do NABAD website and if you're going for NABAD, that's clearly so you're not respecting NABAD hmm. or you don't have any curiosity to know about NABAD. So you have to have detailed uh, thorough analysis or thorough reading of NABAD website. And I would say NABAD website and NABAD annual report. If you read simultaneously, you won't find it any of them hard. Mm -hmm. So you will have a, like you will enjoy reading all both of them together. So it has given me confidence to know about NABAD any things. Mm -hmm. And while reading those website and NABAD annual report, I used to make a list of cross questions. Mm -hmm. So I made around 40, 50 cross questions. And from there, I used to write their answers. So it was only to have uh, sealed myself from every angle. Okay, you can ask me anything. Mm -hmm. And then obviously my B-Tech background, IT uh, related things, what are there in news? Mm -hmm. Like cyber security, uh, blockchain technology, deep learning, this kind of a thing, which is can be applied in the agriculture. You don't need to study like uh, B-Tech in core B-Tech subjects. Mm -hmm. You need to just know what are the applications of it and what are the current events. And obviously a uh, newspaper, is important to build your perception and uh, analysis part how do you approach things that is important i did i followed newspaper only after means for interview only you can refer any of the newspaper that is good enough right. and that's it. so to, so to sum up i would say uh, that uh, preparation of interview is quite uh, wide mm -hmm. but the things are in your control why? Because DAF is your own, what you write there. Mm -hmm. Then you have to make questions on your DAF itself. It is a very good exercise you must do because you get to know yourself better. Mm -hmm. That you know why am I going here? and you are able to answer questions better. So DAF is important. Then about NABAR, the organization you want to join, the website, annual report, very important. And if you if you are curious, then you will cover and then it will show there also in the interview. Mm -hmm. The newspapers you mentioned, mm -hmm. apart from that, the newspapers you used to cover mm -hmm. and your own background, whatever education or if you have any work experience, they can ask that also that what have you done? What are you going to do in future? So these are the, I think, four pillars yeah. of your preparation and um, interview preparation and uh, it will reap results as it did for Sumit, but yeah. uh, you have to be very clear, yeah. you have to be hard working and you have to be consistent. Yeah. That I can assure you all these things were done by Sumit. Uh -huh. uh, because he is a person who had the clarity, who worked really hard, who changed his strategy whenever needed and he was consistent that in doing the preparation. Right. Yeah. So... That was a very, very insightful conversation, uh, Sumit. And one more thing I would like to say, for this kind of examination, there is a lot of havoc in the market. Mm -hmm. Okay, you do need to do this kind of a thing, this thing. You just have your one broader plan. Uh, just trust one source or one teacher or one institute and just follow mm -hmm. that blindly. You will definitely get through it. And for the interview part, I would say there was like kind of a thing, okay, interview they have taken for... 12 minutes only, 13 minutes only, uh, this is not good, this would have taken 20 minutes, 30 minutes. But what I felt, my interview was also like uh, hardly 12 to 13 minutes. Mm -hmm. but what, what I felt ki, uh, when Sir was asking me, I felt like he judged me, okay, he's good enough for the organization, he has the knowledge. Mm -hmm. So when any panel member will start, he will not uh, uh, have the tendency to judge you negatively. They will mm -hmm. try to judge you positively. So like for first or second question, you have not impressed them. So they have a negative impression, but they will try to have a positive impression and they'll ask you more and more questions to have a positive impression. Mm -hmm. So in that case interview, your interview will like go for longer. And since the candidate are very much, uh, so if you impressed them in the first or second question only, so they will immediately pass to next member. They will immediately, so it's not that it's uh, 12 to 13 minutes to interview the Abka mm. So that is not at all the Of thing. course, that is not there. They have different strategies. There are people who, Sumit is one such example, mm. they, that interview timing does not matter, obviously. Mm. Rather, how you uh, spoke with them, what was mm. the conversation about, were you able to satisfy the, what they were looking for. So what actually they are looking for, Sumit, what do you think? Uh, first of all, uh, they are looking for how uh, well have you done in your past in whatever field you are, be it a job or be it a graduation, 
वेर यू डिसिप्लिन एनफ वेर यू लाइक ऑनेस्ट मोर इम्पोर्टेंट ऑनेस्ट वेर यू ऑनेस्ट विथ योर वर्क और नॉट दैट इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट एंड हाउ क्यूरियस यू आर to find out things to innovate to correct the thing that is more important that curiosity only comes uh, sometimes they ask you very interior question just to know about your curiosity it's not that they'll cut marks if it is very deep just to know your curiosity they ask you such kind of question and one important they ask every candidate uh, any other thing you want to add in the last so that is also one important part that i, I said five six kind of uh, suggestions to them that shows my uh ability to uh, connect things how you utilize my skills to the navat and some people say it was nice talking to you okay that's also fine but you need you have been given opportunity so you need to utilize what you you didn't say in your interview actual interview when they were taking so you can utilize those kind of thing here right so theek hai very very insightful information detailed uh strategy regarding interview also sumitha has shared with you guys so uh, we hope the deserving candidates out there who are studying well studying hard who are clear they also clear the examination very soon and then uh, uh, maybe you are able to meet sumit there only in nabad organization right so thank you so much sumit for coming in here uh, glad to have you and uh, we wish you all the best we know you will be a very good officer at nabad uh-huh. thank you so much and uh, थैंक यू गाइज फॉर ट्यूनिंग इन हाउ डिड यू लाइक द वीडियो लेटेस नो कॉमेंट्स में लिख के क्या सबसे अच्छा लगा स्ट्रैटेजी में से सुमित की ठीक है तो थैंक यू बाय